Hello and welcome, my name is Curtis Hughes, and today I am going to be doing a highlight video on my sword only engage run. So before I get into it, I'm going to go over the rules. Now it is a sword only, but I am actually allowing engaged weapons. I'm allowing reclassing, but it has to be into sword classes. And I can have healers, but the only way they can combat is with swords. The reason why I chose to allow engage weapons is because, you know, I think that it's still unreliable enough to make it a challenge. But also, you know, it's kind of still in the spirit of engage, where you can use weapons that you normally wouldn't be able to use. I sent Fander down to the bottom left and had Alir take them on by herself to try to get as much experience as possible. Alir got a really good level. She finished the map off with Lodestar Rush. I had to continuously move my characters around to bait her away from Alir, but still allow Alir to actually fight her. And after a few turns of this back and forth, I finished her off with Lodestar Rush. I started off by defeating this lance user with Lodestar Rush, and then formed my units up into almost like a box formation for the next enemy turn. Lan was killed and was set to be reincarnated as Izuku Midoriya in My Hero Academia. Then Alfred's horse was injured and had to go live on a farm upstate, and Alfred decided he couldn't fight without him, and NTA was executed for being a fake bodybuilder. And just in case you were wondering what the challenge was in this run, here's Alir getting broken, then broken again, and then broken again. Then Vander is forcibly put into retirement, and Alir finishes off the boss of this chapter, Abai. I finally have my second sword user, so naturally I use Selene's ability to have her warp. Then I rescue Louis by sending him over to where Alir is and get him out of harm's way. And then I use Warp Ragnarok again to bring Selene up there to help Alir clear out those enemies. After that, I have Boucheron use Lodestar Rush to finish the boss. I didn't have much trouble with chapters 5 and 6, so I'm not putting it in the video, but I do have my third sword user now. And I almost get Alir killed. I have Louis finish off Gold Mary, and then I have Lapis finish off Rosado. And that just leaves Louis to take down Hortensia with, you guessed it, Lodestar Rush. Now our army is growing even more with our fourth sword user in Diamant. Now, immediately I get his sword broken. I finish off Zelkov with Sigurd's ability and take down Kagetsu with Diamant. And get extremely lucky that I baited her in with Diamant because he has Roy and Holdout. To be honest, in the actual playthrough during this part, uh, my heart was pumping pretty good because I had to like really manage my units in a way that they didn't die. But I get earlier to finish her off, and then Diamond's able to take her down the next turn. This was the first time I actually felt the challenge. So the main strategy that got me through the run in general is that I had a couple generals who would be unbreakable. So I usually sent them one way and then my better units the other, or at some point when I had two of them, I would just send them opposite ways, so I would always have somebody to bait. I had Selene take down Kagetsu on one end, and then Louie take down Zelkov on the other. Selene and Diamant actually got in a spot of trouble near the top because there was a bunch of Lance users and I didn't really have an effective way to take them down, but they were able to get through alive. And then I had Selene take down Ivy. For good this time.
My plan here was to put Louie on the right, so naturally I put him on the left. I made sure to double check that Hortensia only had two range. And then I got a nasty surprise when I found out that, for some reason, she didn't anymore. I played this game before, but only once, so I was not prepared for that. Made sure to let Diamond take down his father, and for some reason he had literally nothing special to say about it. Then Alir used Leaf's quadruple hit to finish off Hyacinth. Then it was on to Chapter 11. After losing all of my emblems, it was time to get one of the saviors of my run. Lynn. And then Lucina. Not that he had to pull my arm, but I was requested by another YouTuber named Mithril Turtle to use Ivy and turn her into a Griffin Knight, which was a terrific idea. And then I also got Kagetsu, who would be... I don't know which number, but one of my best units, and he starts out as a sword unit. He actually has terrific bases. And here I made the biggest mistake of my run. I used a bow without realizing it. I didn't even notice it till a few videos later. So, game over. In all seriousness, I could have, you know, rewinded and tried something else, but I literally did not notice that I did it at the time. Then I spent a good portion of time raising Ivy's bond support with Lucina, trying to get to that sword rank skill so that she can become a Griffin Knight. And while he might not technically be the best emblem, he is still my favorite. I sent a few units to the left and then a few units to the right. Really overall it wasn't that difficult and then I had them all meet down at the bottom to take down the bosses. That part was a little difficult but not, not too difficult. It may be hard to tell on this video, but I had to conserve my engage meters pretty hard. Most of the time, I had to save my heavy hitters for the bosses, or I wouldn't be able to take them out in one round or even two rounds. But I was able to take down Zephia, Marnie, and then Hortensia. Again. That's a common theme in this game. Refighting the same bosses. Now, Chapter 17 is where the difficulty really started to ramp up. There was a bunch of normal enemies, which, you know, whatever. But then there were also a bunch of bosses. There was uh, four of them in this one... There might, actually might be five in this one chapter. And a couple worms, too. So I had to conserve my engage meters and... Well, I'll use strategy. Big surprise in a strategy game, I know. But the hardest part of this chapter was the fact that most of the bosses were, like, right on top of each other. Vale didn't really turn out to be that difficult, neither was Gris. I didn't really have any problems with Mavier or Marty either. But the fact that four, like, three of them were in the same spot, that made it really difficult. Chapter 19 was another very difficult chapter. I had to use the cannons quite a bit to control where the enemies were going, and I ended up working all my units towards the top to have a defensible position. I baited Mavier over with one of my units, and then had Kagetsu blocking off one area to take care of all the normal enemy units. Funny enough, two of the only times I remember actually getting this skill to work were both against Mavier. I had Ivy finish off Mavier, and then eventually I was able to get Marty baited up towards the top and completely surrounded, and then we took her out. That was the end of a really tough chapter. Technically, chapter 20 wasn't that difficult. I'm just an idiot. Now, chapter 21 may have been the most difficult chapter I've had to have so far. With enemy placements and everything, it was difficult. I was able to defeat Gris with really no problem, but I had to clear out all those enemies and Zephia at once, or at least as well as I could, to prevent anybody from getting killed. And that wasn't even the hard part of the chapter. I did not know how crazy the enemy reinforcements could get whenever you go up towards the top, but I found out. I had 
to sacrifice Merrick for the good of the cause. But I was able to finish out Vale without losing anyone else. Really, overall, this chapter was surprisingly easy, considering I had no emblems. I just had some trouble in the middle and a little bit to the right because of that fire worm. But besides that, it wasn't that difficult at all. I made a risky play that ended up getting Saphir killed. I didn't really have much other choice. And then took down Zephia again and Gris again. They like repeat bosses in this game. For the most part, Chapter 25 wasn't difficult, but when the reinforcements started coming in, that changed. On the right side, there were nothing but Lance reinforcements, so I had to have somebody defending the bottom while I had to completely surround Lumera and take her down. Really, the final chapter was more tedious than anything. I had a little bit of trouble with Lance users on the top left, which made it really difficult for those three. It got really close, and it was just a matter of chip damage on the boss every time I was able to take his guard down again. And then Vale was able to take her revenge on that shitty dad of hers. If you have any ideas of what I could have done to make this video better, I am happy to hear anything. Maybe one day I'll actually try this challenge specifically with swords. I just, you know, I wanted to start off a little easy. I haven't done challenges like this before. So thank you for ever watched and I will hopefully see you in the next one.